out today. Just miserable. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, it's that guy with movies back here again. And, um, I'm camping for the long weekend. Uh, May long weekend for Victoria Day and that. So, um, I did bring some movies with me, so I'm doing some uh, movie watching. Um, because I, I actually can have a fire. This is kind of an update. But, uh, there you go. There's outside. So, um, it's kind of rainy, so I'm watching movies while I'm in here. So... I actually went to Goodwill today and I bought some movies there. So, um, I'll cut to those and I'll show you what I picked up okay, there. Okay, so here are the movies that I bought at Goodwill. So, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got, uh, nine movies today. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm actually going to start with the common ones, because I actually got a lot of uh, horror movies today. So, I'm going to start with the more common ones first. So, uh, the first one I got up here is Blade Trinity with uh, Wesley Snipes, of course. Uh, this is the unrated version. It's got the uh, shiny cover. But, a uh, really cool set right there. Um, it's actually two discs, as you can see right there. And uh, it did come with a comic book. So, really cool there. There's the uh, bonus features if you want to read those. And then the next one I picked up is actually a rare and out of print. It's uh, Dogma with, uh, there you go. Uh, with Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, uh, Salma Hayek, Chris Rock. Uh, of course, the Kevin Smith movie. Um, this one, like I said, is out of print. There's no bonus features on here. It is a uh, Lionsgate release. So, older Lionsgate release, I believe. So, it's really cool there. Next one I got up is another rare and out of print movie. This is uh, UHF with Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, this one was kind of his movie back in the 80s. So really cool find right there. They actually had a lot of out of print stuff today. Uh, there's the special features if you want to read those. So, um, really cool find there. And uh, now we're going to start going into the uh, horror movies that I picked up. The first one I picked up here was Candyman with Virginia Madsen and Tony Todd, of course. Uh, classic movie, of course, uh, written by Clive Barker. Uh, not directed by him, and actually this tagline uh, kind of meant to me that it was directed by Clive Barker, but I was wrong. It's actually directed by Bernard Rose. So, put that down here, and then there's the uh, special features there. So, uh, it is complete, of course. Uh, kind of an old movie, 1992. Next one I got up here is uh, classic one, Fright Night from the 80s. With uh, Chris Sarandon, Roddy McDowell, and Amanda Burris. Um, this one was actually a really cool find here uh, about like vampires and how he uh, lives in his uh, house and uh, Fright Night. And yeah. Next one I got up here was Silver Bullet. Uh, now we're going to actually start going into the Stephen King movies. They actually had a lot there. Uh, so, of course, Silver Bullet with uh, Gary Busey and Corey Haim. Uh, there's not really a lot of bonus features on here, but uh, this one is about werewolves, and uh, it's about this 13-year-old uh, boy who's uh, in a wheelchair. So, um, this one is complete also. And then the next one I picked up here is Needful Things, of course, with Ed Harris, Max von Sydow, and Bonnie Bedelia. Uh, the best Stephen King film ever. Yeah, there. Um, apparently, everyone in uh, Ed Harris's town is dying, and uh, antique stores and that. So, a uh, really cool thing right there. It's actually worth quite a bit of money. Uh, next one I got up here is Sleepwalkers, another Stephen King movie, of course. Um, this one also is complete. I don't think Needful Things is complete. I don't know if it has a book or anything, but uh, this one is complete, though, and it, of course, includes cameos by Clive Barker and Stephen King. 
Um, yeah, it actually was written by Stephen King himself, so that one's good. And then the last one I picked up here was Maximum Overdrive, of course. Uh, Emilio is in this one. Uh, Pat Hangel, uh, this one is actually his only uh, directorial debut uh, for Stephen King, his only movie that he directed. Uh, of course, this one has the discs in there. I don't know if this one has a guide or anything, but um, it is uh, really cool nonetheless. Of course, Yardley Smith for playing Lisa on The Simpsons. So um, that's about it for these uh, pickups. So, there's, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So we'll see you later. And oh, thanks again. We'll see ya.